What gives you your conviction in nuclear energy, given that places like Japan and Germany are pulling out completely? Well, uh, we think we are in a unique position right now, particularly with so many people in this country who only think about energy in the context of climate change, to sort of reintroduce them to the value proposition of nuclear. It's here, it's clean, it's safe. And many Americans are really stunned when they find out nuclear energy produces 62% of the non-carbon emitting electricity. So if you want to combat climate change, nuclear has to be a part of that foundation. And those that argue you should take away nuclear and substitute wind or solar, you would just be swapping out one source of carbon-free electricity for another, and you just can't get there without it. And so the debate around climate change gives us an opportunity uh, to demystify some of the concerns I think, frankly, a lot of Americans have about nuclear energy. Ron, you've been in the government, both as a uh, mayor of Houston and also as our trade representative. Well, I'm, Dallas, people, Dallas. No, no, that's it, okay, people Dallas. of Houston. But, but my <laughs> point is this, however good nuclear is, there are a lot of regulatory hurdles to building new nuclear plants. There's a lot I mean, of regulatory hurdles to building anything well, in but, this but, country, but nuclear, and that's a problem. But nuclear particularly, it's yeah. perceived at least, it's awfully difficult, risky, expensive. How do you overcome those sorts of hurdles? The, the part of me that's been a mayor and has devoted a good part of my life to public service, Davis, wants to believe at some point we'll look back and say, okay, we've got 50 years of doing this now. We know how to operate these plants safely, efficiently, and can we have a regulatory system that recognizes that? But first, you've got to build a value proposition that you've got to keep nuclear alive. If you do that, then I think you can have a regulatory system to match it. Interestingly enough, a bill was introduced in Congress, I think, last month to try to put in frame a regulatory licensing system for the next generation of nuclear technology. Hopefully we can learn some lessons from what we've done. What can we learn from Germany? Well, one of the things we're going to learn from Germany, and, unfor and I don't say this with any joy, um, John, we're going to learn from what's happening in California in almost every country and state that has pulled nuclear out of their portfolio. Their carbon emissions have gone up and their price of electricity has gone up. Um, and I just, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point Germany finds a way to maybe not reintroduce new nuclear, but, but say maybe they're going to keep some of those nuclear power plants online. I see Wilbur nodding. Yeah, Wilbur? Yeah, well, we were talking before about the implications of low interest rates. Low interest rates are the right time to do nuclear because it's a very capital intensive activity. So building nuclear plants now with very cheap debt money is the best way to lock in low power costs for a generation. Yeah. But it's also a good time to do all public infrastructure. I mean, yeah. this is a time Congress should come together. If you want to put Americans back to work, let's start building power and transportation and, and improving our infrastructure. And Wilbur's absolutely right. This is absolutely the best time to be doing it.